Hi, this is Daniel with End Time Country Living and on this video I am out working on our blackberry patch out here so and that's not necessarily what you might think it's the brambles the uh, the thorns and the thistle area that I'm trying to whack back and get under control here so uh, we are very fortunate uh, God blessed us by bringing a heavy snow this year so it really uh, pressed down the blackberry bushes and just kind of smashed them down a lot. So that gives me an opportunity to get in there and take them out a lot easier than it would have been if they were way up high. So anyway, I want to show you um, some of the methods that I use to uh, get rid of blackberries uh, by hand without a lot of you know expensive machinery. So just some simple, simple tips and some ideas of how you can do things by hand good exercise too. So as you can see over here this is our little patch in here that's kind of gotten out of hand over the uh, since we got the property. Um, didn't get it mowed down right away and maintained and it got out of hand and we can, we've just been pushing it back slowly every year uh, with the mower and things like that. So anyway working on this area here um, to find a little edge and a little corner I can start working on and whittling away at it. This is one of the little edges and corner uh, indentations that I've been working on for a long time. It used to have this cleared out a little bit further, a um, little pathway through there, but it's got closed closed in over the years. So I got my leather gloves out here, an important thing to have when you're working with blackberries with thorns. And one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, usually I like to carry our uh, cordless phone. Uh, out here, so when I get a business phone call or an important phone call, uh, and be able to receive the call, and I'm, you know, I always kind of hook it on my pants pocket or try to put it in my pocket. But if I put it in my pocket, I always gets the buttons get pressed and it goes beep, beep, beep occasionally, and it really gets annoying. And um, so I was, I, was, I was praying and asking God, okay, how, you know, I, I need some little holster or I need some. Um, like a case, like a cell phone case or something to hold the thing on me in my belt or some place that it isn't going to be uh, pressing the buttons on here. Uh, there's no lockout on here so I couldn't figure out that, you know, otherwise I just put it in my pocket or something like that. Um, and the little belt clip is, it's always popping off and falling or something like that. So that isn't necessarily a, a good option. So all of a sudden he put in my mind that I have this um, this uh, little little holder here, um, which I think is for uh, like wire cutters or something like that. It's open at the bottom, um, little W I S S WISS or however you pronounce it. When I picked up, it, I got at the thrift store many years ago, and a, a belt, um, one of the little army type belts. So I use this for other stuff here. I just put my pruners or anything else that I want to put in here. So I think, oh, that might be work. That might work. Let me go look to see if I can find it. Sure enough, I found it. And I was like, okay, well, let's see here. I put it in there, see if it's going to fall through. And I think, well, I can actually put it over the edge here. And wow, hey, it works perfect. I put it on my belt and I can carry, this, carry the phone with me. So that, that was kind of cool. God always has these little, um, oh, solutions to your problems. And, you know, you don't have to go come up with them all yourself. You can just, you know, pray and God will give you an idea of what you can use. You don't have to go buy something. So I thought that was, I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so my gloves on here. This is my tool of choice. This is this is hadn't seen this probably in a while. Uh, the sling blade or whatever you want to call it. Um, but this works really well. This has serrations on the teeth on both sides, so you can swing it either way. But this good strong sturdy tool. Another 
uh, thrift store find. So uh, this, this is the tool I, of choice that I've tried pretty much everything and can't find anything else that works better than this. So I always go back to this when I need to take care of blackberries because even a weed whacker, I've tried a weed whacker and it just can't hack the, um, the string, can't, can't go through the, um, the vines and it's also gets tangled up really easy in there. It spuns around and just jerks it around. And, um, don't have a blade for the thing. That might be something else to try. I think that works as well. So I may, if I get tired, I may try to see if I can fit, uh, attach a saw blade or something to my weed whacker and see how that works. But I not don't think it's gonna have an adapter for the one I have. So I'd have to go buy one or something like that. So it's not really top on my priority list. But anyway, this gives me some good exercise. So this is the pile that I've done so far, just kind of make, making a pile of it here and just kind of spreading it out enough so that hopefully it can run over it with the lawnmower and grind it up and chop it and turn it into compost. Shady works the best on green ones. It doesn't work so well on the dry brown ones, which there's quite a bit of here, but this helps to take down some of the higher stuff. Just getting your momentum up. Let the tools come down and do the chopping for you. And then also come in, in at an angle. So rather than then coming flat on something, come in at a little bit of 45 degree angle so it sli slices through it as it comes down. This way you're kind of less coming down and scarfing the parallel to the ground and just slicing all the canes off at the ground level. And just kind of shoving them off and raking them out of the way. So I was able to clear a pretty good sized area in fairly quickly in just well, five or ten minutes and get good uh, progress being made. So it's exciting. So anyway, hope that gives you some tips. These tools are available in most secondhand stores. You can find them for fairly cheaply or some old tool, tool store or something like that or uh, somebody that resells a lot of old tools. So anyway, if you look around and ask God for help, ask. Um, ask him to provide you what you need. He's more than happy to uh, help you out. So I encourage you and hope this gives you some idea of how you can take out your blackberries. All right, God bless and see you on the next video. Oh, and, and this would be a good time if you like these videos to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page. Um, also give me a thumbs up on this video that helps other people to find it and 
supports the channel. All right, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.